My name is Matthew. I'm uh, Managing Director of Emergency Response Training Solutions Limited. My background is I'm a nurse by training. Um, spent 20 years in uh, adults and paediatric ITU and uh, emergency care. Um, currently working as a advanced nurse practitioner in urgent care in the UK, uh, but also delivering uh, training programs and education across the world with um, Emergency Response Training Solutions Limited. Hello. I'm Martin, I'm the Education Director of Emergency Response Training Solutions and my background is 20-30 years in all sorts of emergency care, intensive care, current care, accident emergency as well as pre-hospital care. Um, currently I work as a resuscitation officer in a big trust in the Midlands part of England and spend my time teaching resuscitation most days. I've taught well over 150 ALS courses now. The jobs market in the, in the UK is ultra competitive at the moment and getting training places is incredibly hard. Anything you can do to get an edge, to get your CV noticed, um, to give you an edge at interview is well worth doing. And ALS is something that everybody looks for. Uh, all, all trainees are expected to have an ALS course. Um, so doing it now will give you that leg up into the jobs market and hopefully allow you to get the jobs you'd like. Yes, the UK Resuscitation Council will only allow their courses to be run within the UK, but they fully support the European Resuscitation Council, who have certified this course for us. So, European Resuscitation Council courses are seen as the equivalent of the Resuscitation Council UK courses. The certificate is valid for four years, uh, and that's the same throughout Europe. Yes, there are recertification courses available. There are also shortened in the UK one day ALS courses available with a, a large amount of e-learning to do beforehand. Um, they're very suitable for the recertification. Very good. Uh, candidates put an awful lot of effort in, very enthusiastic. They were a pleasure to work with. Um, a lot of them spent an awful lot of time reading the manual, um, doing the online learning, which of course helped them in, in the benefit and was reflected in, in, the, in the past marks that we had off the candidates and the standard that they displayed on their practical uh, assessments. Probably higher than we'd expect in the UK. I, I think in the UK, we look at about a 75 to 80% pass rate. I think here in Bangalore, uh, we've, we've made over 90% um, of the candidates have passed on their first attempt. So really, as Matt said, it re reflects a really high uh, workload that people have put into doing this course. Yeah, well, we're really pleased to say we'll be back in March, um, hoping to run another three courses. Um, so there are places available now. I suppose the benefit is one, they can get a place, um, there are places available but they fill up very fast. At the moment in the UK getting onto an ALS course is incredibly difficult. We have a large backlog because of Covid, obviously courses didn't run and so all of the places in most of the courses are filled by, by hospitals own internal staff. We have very few places for external candidates at the moment so um, if you're not already in a post Getting a, getting a place is just about impossible at the moment. So having access to them in Bangalore will give you a real advantage. The courses are slightly different in format because each country has its own programme, uh, but the content is the same. Um, Resource Council have put out a position paper that, that's, that recognises the two courses are identical. Yeah, so the candidate is expected to um, obviously participate. There is a high degree of practical training. Start with the basics and we'll work through it and lots of simulation training. It ends with a multiple choice question paper and a, an exam simulation that we do um, that puts candidates through everything they've learned.
We had a great time, thank you, yeah. yes. Um, candidates, as, as we said earlier, were well prepared, they were enthusiastic, they engaged with us. Uh, I hope they enjoyed it. Certainly the feedback they've given us so far is they had a very enjoyable time and they all learned an enormous amount. Mm -hmm.